How are you doing guys and welcome to a new video for those who are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George. I scale brands up with paid traffic and teach agencies on how to do the same. And in today's video, I'm going to briefly explain how you can work out whether or not your campaigns for your e-com or lead gen clients are actually profitable. So first thing we'll do is we'll start off with lead generation. Obviously with lead generation, we can't necessarily directly work out whether or not it's profitable by going off of a cost per purchase or a return on ad spend. So what we need to do is we need to look at the whole funnel and figure out how much they can actually spend to acquire a customer and acquire a lead. So what we'll do is we'll take a simple example of a, let's say a insurance company on lookout for new people to take up their insurance offer and the funnel that they are running are basically ads to a simple landing page with some kind of offer and if they want the offer they need to schedule a call then a percentage of people that obviously hop on that call are going to become a paid client what we then need to work out or if you are in this situation what you need to ask your client is first of all how much is the actual offer on the back end on average now of course they're going to give you all these different um, vague answers because they don't really want to give you the specific one they'll say something like oh yeah we'll, we'll you know just do different offers and some people take up different price points etc what i usually do in situations like that is go for an average so what is the average amount of earnings per client so let's say they have a, a 2.5k offer and a 10k offer and let's say roughly 50% of people go for the 2.5k offer and roughly 50% go for the 10k offer. Then usually I'll work out the average of the two. Um, just for example, say we'll just say 5k. So 5k, I know that's not the actual answer, but just for the sake of this example, uh, 5k is the average earnings per customer for them. Okay, so now we know it's 5k what they could potentially aim. We then need to take it a step back and work out how many calls it takes to get a client. So let's say they close uh, one in two. So that means 50% of people that hop on a call do not become a paying customer and 50% of people that hop on a call do. Then we already sort of have a ballpark there that we can spend up to 2,500 to acquire a call. Why? Because on average, it takes two calls to get a client. One client generates them an average of 5K. So we've broken even if we average 2.5K per call. Then we can also work out what the lifetime value is of a client because that upfront one-time payment of 5K isn't necessarily the only thing that you'll ever make from that client. That may be a recurring, uh, subscription you know an annual subscription and on average that client stays for let's say five years but then we already know okay so on average we are making 25k from that client because it's 5k up front and they stay for an average of five years so technically speaking we can spend much more to acquire that client because you know it's uh, generating us that much on the back end usually i'll try and find a way to make a profitable with that first payment if we can't make a profitable on that first payment, then obviously I'll show them the numbers and show them that even though it's not profitable on that first payment, it might be costing them like 6,000 to get that one client, but they're generating 25K on the back end. Okay, so work out the earnings per close, the lifetime value of a client and the closing rate percentage. Then we take it a step back again and we work out how many people we need to get into that funnel to get one call. So let's say out of the 100 people, we get one call. We already worked out that we can spend up to 2.5k to get a call so that means that on average we can spend up to 25 euros to get a lead why because we have a one percent conversion rate which means that out of every 100 people we get one call booked and we know that we can spend up to 2500 to get a call booked so that means that if we can get leads for 25 euros or less that whole little funnel is profitable okay so 25 euros a lead, 2,500 a call booked, a 50% closing rate, which means that it is a 5K cost per acquisition, and they make 25K on the back end, which means that funnel is profitable. They break even on the front end to make money on the back end. If you can get those numbers down, then they are profitable. Now, with e-commerce, it's much, much easier. Why? Because we can see the cost per purchase, etc., in the ad account. So what we need to work out is what are their costs of goods sold so let's say on average it's 50 percent 
um, then we can work out what the lifetime value is of the client and the average order value of the initial pages. So let's say they probably, they've got multiple products on the site, 50% profit margin, and then on average, um, the average order value is, let's say 200 euros or pounds or dollars, okay? So that means that 50% of that is already costs. So that is 100 euros and they have a 100 euro profit margin. If that is the average order value, that means that we can technically spend up to 100 to get a purchase and it would still be profitable. If it's exactly 100, they'll break even. If it's less than 100, then obviously, um, you know, it's profitable for them. And then of course, if they break even and they complain about that or they un don't really understand the numbers, then you can show them the lifetime value of a client because that customer may come back three or four times. So the average order value might be 200, but their lifetime value might be a thousand because they come back at least five more times. When you work out those numbers or when you work out what their profit margin is, you can also work out what the target ROAS is. So what you do there is one divided by the profit margin times 100. So let's say their profit margin is 30%. You do one divided by 30 times 100 is 3.3. That means that their break even return on ad spend without your retainer is 3.3. Anything with a return ad spend below 3.3 is not profitable. Anything above 3.3 is profitable. So usually I like to work off of a break-even ROAS, but for some clients, uh, working off of a CPA is actually much easier. So working with a CPA would mean that we try to get our cost per purchase below, in this case, 100. If we work off of ROAS, then we try and get that ROAS above two because I already mentioned that the profit margin was 50%. So hope that clears up. If you want to know more about how to make your clients profitable or how you can set up back-end deals so that you can actually make more money per client, then check out the link below. It's got a free training on nice. Consult X where we explain to you exactly how you can do so and how we guarantee that you will get at least 10,000 a month extra in monthly recurring revenue with your agency within the first 90 days of joining the program or you get a 100% refund guarantee. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Like this video if you did. Comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.